Hey, are you battling with your college debt? Are you struggling to close new patients or just get them in the door? Our system is designed to create weight loss and nutritional clients into raving chiropractic fans. This program can easily increase or possibly double your income. So get ready and become the chiropractic authority. Hey, welcome everybody to the Chiropractic Authority. This is Dr. Kyle Muir. And it's Dr. Aaron Tressler. He, you don't do this uh, K Dog thing. The K Dog thing. You're throwing That's that right. thing out. <laughs> hey, we have a, an amazing guest online today. I'm sure you all have heard because he's all over the news, because he's sticking his neck out, and I'm sure he's taking blows left and right, but he has a purpose to serve. We have Dr. Jack Wolfson. Jack was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Jack, we're not going to take that away from you since we're from Pittsburgh. So, yeah. Well, technically, I'm from Youngstown, Ohio, so I, I can relate to that. Yeah, but, but that's why I moved. <laughs> <laughs> but And his father was the first osteopath, osteopathic physician at the Cleveland Clinic. Uh, after years of training and schooling, he went to Arizona. And this is pretty neat. I'm reading out of his book, The Paleocardiologist. If you don't have it, you got to get it. It says, uh, you know, he joined a large cardiology group and was elected as a senior partner in 2006. After years of angiograms, pacemakers, and other procedures, Dr. Wolfson met the woman who opened his eyes to the wellness paradigm. So Dr. Jack and his wife, Heather, practice in Arizona. So welcome aboard, Jack. Oh, Dr. Kyle, Dr. Aaron, thank you so much. Pleasure to be on with you guys. And uh, I won't take that slight against Cleveland uh, too hard. Uh, I only lived there for a couple years when my dad was in training at the Cleveland Clinic. And then shortly thereafter, we moved to Chicago. But uh, you, you know what, man? I, I'm out here in Arizona, guys. And uh, there's something about the Midwest. There's something about, uh, you know, the uh, the values and the people uh, and especially this time of year, you know, the summertime and the outdoors activities in the Midwest. I definitely I definitely miss that. But I do not miss the weather come uh, <laughs> December, January, February. I know. You know, I lived in Palm Beach, Florida for a few years. And I said, I'll never go back to Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. And here I've been back here for, I don't know, 20 some years. Yep. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so welcome aboard. We're ex excited to have you here. Um, what, you know, being a cardiologist, your wife is a chiropractor, maybe explain that situation and how you practice and, and what your purpose being in practice is and how you blend that together. This is an interesting story. Yeah, sure thing. I mean, listen, I've told this story, you know, many times and I tell the story, you know, very well in my book, so I won't take up too much time talking about it. But quite simply, uh, I'm a board certified cardiologist. I was in practice for a couple of years and met the woman who would become my wife. And she is a doctor of chiropractic. And Dr. Heather opened up my eyes to, I guess, the, the, the code name of the chiropractors instead of DC doctor of chiropractic, it's doctor of cause. And she opened up my eyes to becoming a doctor of cause as well. And I came from the pills. I came from the procedures. Uh, model, and that's how the medical community is trained solely on pills and procedures and never looking at the cause. She opened up my eyes to all that, and I started to change and make uh, make a difference and change how I took care of myself and also my patients, and eventually uh, left the big practice, left all the money behind and the guaranteed Medicare uh, and big insurance uh, income. And reimbursement, and I opened up my own practice in 2012, and Heather and I worked together. She sees mostly a handful of pediatrics uh, and provides chiropractic uh, to uh, pediatrics along with uh, education and lifestyle changes for the kids and for the parents alike. And uh, I see uh, mostly adult cardiology patients uh, for, to get them off pharmaceuticals to keep them happy and healthy and well. Awesome. That's And that's a, a neat blend. And, and I think for the listeners out there, I mean, it's no new news that, um, you know, our goal is cause chiropractic. We don't want them full of medicine and believing that the body is self-healing, self-regulating. If we take care of this temple, if we take care of this body, it doesn't have to get to that breakdown point. And I think we would all agree. I hope everyone online understands the, um, the misinformation, the lies, and the brainwashing that we're all being under, I think, since we're, we're a child, you know, growing up, um, which is uh, unfortunate, but that's just the way the system is set up. So, one, we applaud you, Dr. Wolfson, for doing what you're doing, sticking your neck out, being a voice out there. And it's not a voice for, you know, chiropractic. It's a voice for 
the principles. It's a voice for health, natural health. I mean, you, you have, to have a title of the natural cardiologist or the paleocardiologist, which is quite different. There's probably not too many of you out there. <laughs> So, yeah, there's there's definitely not too many of us, you know, out there. And I definitely agree with you guys, you know, in the sense that, you know, the um, I'm all about living the paleo lifestyle, living the the way our ancestors did, but bringing that to the 21st century. Uh, but uh, you know, understanding that our ancestors enjoyed phenomenal uh, health, and you know, they got the sleep and the sunshine and the physical activity. And I really think that the paleo lifestyle is really synonymous of how I envision with the chiropractic lifestyle, that they're really one and the same, and that the doctor of chiropractic is really uniquely positioned to be that go-to person for all things health and wellness. I would encourage anybody who would be listening to this, and I tell my patients, and I shout this from the rooftops whenever possible, when you have any health ailment, go see the chiropractor. If it's an emergency, then you go to an emergency room. But if you are looking to pre truly prevent disease and to truly be healthy and well, then the chiropractor is your go-to person. They've got all the skills necessary to take care of you. Awesome. Yeah, so I, when we were talking just a little bit ago before we did the podcast, you said something like that totally blew my mind. So how do you, can you explain this to our listeners, how do you implement chiropractic with what you do in your office? Well, you know, listen, I'm all about, uh, you know, getting the best for my patients. And I talk to them, of course, about heart health. And I talk to them about nutrition. And I talk to them about getting the chemicals and the pollutants and the toxins out of their lives and about sunshine and sleep. And I talk to them about chiropractic care. And I show them that, that and I explain to my patients that there is, you know, tons of evidence that chiropractic works. Or even if you don't need um, uh, evidence per se. The evidence is in the patients. The fact that millions are under chiropractic care. The fact that I personally go to get an adjustment uh, and I feel better afterwards. I don't need a study that tells me I feel better uh, <laughs> and I have more energy and all the other things that go along with it. But you know, quite simply, guys, if you are a patient in my practice, you must be under the care of a chiropractor because that is how I am successful as a holistic cardiologist. I have to work in conjunction with the doctor of chiropractic because that's just part of my treatment plan. And if you are a patient of mine, by the third visit, if you are not under chiropractic care, then you're no longer a patient of mine. Because that's, uh, you know, I, 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 I want ultimate success and I don't have time to waste on people that are not interested in achieving, uh, you know, that, that level of success. That's, that's, awesome. a, that's a bold <laughs> statement to make. And, and docs, if you're listening to this, um, look at what Dr. Wolfson could have on the other end. You know, if he played that medical game, what he is, has, I don't say given up, what he's changed to get, get and produce in this on this planet way bigger gains i love i love that about you that's an amazing statement so um what challenges uh jack do you see in chiropractic you know dr heather being a chiropractor what challenges do you see in chiropractic or you know healthcare in general or, or weight loss for that matter well, I mean, I think, you know, once again, it's just an educational process. And, you know, one of my favorite things that I learned from Dr. Heather early on is what you guys do so often and so well is to educate your patients and to educate the public. So when I first met Heather and she's doing these in-office educational events and maybe there's 15 or 20 people there and she's talking about uh, nutrition, she's talking about blood pressure, she's talking about diabetes. And she's presenting these topics uh, the way no medical doctor ever would. And the patients just absolutely loved it. So as I've gone along, and of course I do educational training as well, and I speak to chiropractic communities and others certainly all around the world, and I created you know, my PowerPoint presentations. Uh, you know, I've got, I've got six PowerPoint presentations uh, that the chiropractors can download along with the me the audio version of me doing it and the the chiropractor can change the uh, uh, PowerPoint titles they can change the uh, the supplements whatever whatever it is put in their logo and then they can teach their community because that's really how it's going to happen and we've done some live events where you know uh, you know there, there's a hundred people in the audience and 30 are from the from the chiropractors 
practice, and then 40 are friends and family, and then 30 are from the community. And meanwhile, everybody signs up uh, for for uh, you know chiropractic care afterwards once they realize exactly what that doctor is offering. So. Um, you know, I, I certainly appreciate, you know, the, the support of the doctors of chiropractic to support uh, Dr. Heather and I, and a lot of them have bought, you know, cases of my books, and a lot of them have bought our supplements, and a lot of them, you know, wholesale our supplements, and then also our educational materials, uh, and that certainly allows me to uh, get out there and uh, keep, uh, you know, being a voice and a champion of chiropractic from, uh, from the outside of your community. Those are great resources. And, and, you know, with I think the challenge with a lot of docs is they listen to this and they say, I don't know much about the heart. I don't know much about the blood. I know we should eat better. Um, they're, they're looking in saying it's way too much. So they don't even do it. They don't even entertain that. Um, what advice would you have to give to docs that are maybe struggling in this area or want to add it in and say, you know, I would like to start creating a lifestyle events or, or workshops, use your PowerPoints, but they would probably even be overwhelmed if they saw your PowerPoints or read your book and thought, I'm not even there yet. What, what do you think they could start moving in this direction that would give them the, the tools along with, you know, the stuff that you've already met, mentioned or the mindset that will allow us, because what you're saying is groundwork. It's not like we're on TV doing this. We're going out doing, you know, 10 at a workshop, 50 at a workshop, if we do this all over the planet, I really believe, like you're saying too, we can make a we can make a difference. So, what do you what kind of advice would could we get if we wanted to head down that path? Well, I think you know once again, it's for the the chiropractor that really wants to assume that role as the primary care provider. You know, the the world needs more chiropractors that are adjusting a hundred people a day. And the world needs more chiropractors that are more on the functional side and maybe the more the kind of you know general holistic approach about in talking about nutrition and lifestyle and supplements. Uh, the world needs more chiropractors that are seeing 10 to 15 people a day and really making a big difference there. And I think that you know this will help explode any practice when you're teaching your community and you've got you've got some of these patients, let them know that you also can help family members and friends with hypertension or with cholesterol issues or with diabetes or with sleep problems or with gastrointestinal issues. And it doesn't have to be difficult. And my training materials are really, really simple. And, you know, the PowerPoint presentations, um, you know, are between 45 minutes and one hour long where you can shorten them, you can lengthen them, you can add your stuff to it. And then I also do the educational videos and I speak to I speak as if I was speaking to a, a general audience. So this isn't like really super duper in depth. Now you can get crazy into all the you know in depth lab tests if you want, and you can go down that rabbit hole as much as you want to. But at the end of the day, it really is kind of about some of the basic things. I mean, heck, if you're a doctor of chiropractic uh, and you're talking about general health and wellness, uh, you should be selling a greens powder. You should be selling a multivitamin and a fish oil and a probiotic and a digestive enzyme. And I'll make it real simple for anyone who's listening. Who needs those things? Everybody. You're, you know, you don't have to go through extensive staff training because everybody needs those products. And the patients are buying them somewhere. They may as well buy the good stuff from you. Right. So anyone who's listening, listen, I don't want to come across too salesy guys. I mean, but at the same point, I think obviously we're all passionate about doing the right thing. And it's not salesmanship when you're when you're passionate about getting the message of health and wellness out there. If we were selling, you know, uh, hey, guys, you know, I got this tremendous, uh, uh, you know, saguaro cactus root out here and it's encapsulated and get everybody on it because uh, it, it, it'll, it's anti-aging. That's a different story. But if we say that people need a multivitamin and people need a fish oil and, and a probiotic and people need chiropractic care, this isn't selling. We're selling health and wellness. And if anyone doesn't like it, as I've said, they can get off my page and get out of my practice. Uh, if you don't like my message, uh, get lost. There's plenty of people that do. Yeah, and <clears throat> I agree. Those things are foundational. It's just like, you know, if you're taking a fish oil, wouldn't it be healthy to eat fish? Well, we can't get the quality fish. Taking a fish oil is not 
I don't think really supplementing. It's just giving foundational principles. I think the problem too, when you you know you had mentioned, hey, we can help people with high blood pressure. We can help people with digestive disorders. You name some things. I think a big problem with chiropractors is they're afraid to to diagnose or say that specifically that we're actually treating that problem. Um, that was, you know, long history of things like that. But I think there's a time to say, listen, we can help. If we, because if, if we don't help you, you're going to be medicated and you're going to have surgery. You're never going to hear of lifestyle changes. There's no hope. Why don't we say that? So I, uh, I agree with you. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Well, what? I, I mean, I, oh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. I mean, I think that there is some concern that if the chiropractor says, well, I treat hypertension or I do this, then then you're kind of liable for all things, you know, surrounding that. So maybe you don't want to make those claims. But, uh, you know, listen, we all kind of, you know, dance around maybe the FDA or something like that or whatever the you know state boards, you know, I mean, we're here to support health and wellness and support those conditions. So if you do have high blood pressure, I can help you. You know, maybe we never say that, you know, we cure hypertension mm-hmm. or we, you know, we treat hypertension, but more of like, if you have hypertension, if you have heart failure, if you have diabetes, I can help you. Yep. I, I, yeah. We say that all the time. Yep. And I, I love, I love the boldness that you, you talk about when it's like, listen, like if you don't want to hear what I have to say, man, leave. See ya. I think too many, too many chiropractors are so, I, I think they're fearful maybe to say something like that because there's only a patient or two come in their office every week or a patient or two every month. But we were just talking about this, um, the, the great late Jim Sigafoos in his book I'm reading, it's called Good Medicine, awesome book if you listeners haven't read that. Um, but he has mentions, you know, the greatest speaker in the world, Jesus. He would go and he would talk to people, and there are people who wouldn't want to hear his message. So he just said, listen, there are people who have eyes who can't see, and there are people with ears who don't hear. And if you, that's one of your patients, see ya. There's 20 other people who want what you have. But if you are conforming to all those people and you're letting the you know inmates run the show, that's what happens. That's yeah. what you get. So let me ask you this, Jack. What in What would you say would be your biggest challenge that you have had so far whether it's in life or in practice, what, what would you say is the biggest challenge? Well, you know, I think clearly I am fighting some major medical establishment in, in my practice uh, mm-hmm. and in my lifestyle and the message that we put out there. And that is certainly very challenging. Uh, but, uh, you know, listen, I have, a, I have a calling and I have a mission and I stay true to that mission. And uh, you're right, the people that are fighting us uh, they can go do their own thing. They can go take their fight somewhere else. Uh, you know, as I've said, you know, what you say about me means nothing. What what mm-hmm. I th- think about myself means everything. And the 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 people that you know it, are are swimming away from us, I, I let them swim away. If you're swimming towards me, uh, I will definitely take care of you. If you're treading water, I'm going to explain things to you. But if you're swimming away, hey, you know, good luck to you. And and, and I think that's one issue. And then I think also, you know, listen, you know, we have we all have this knowledge base, but unfortunately, we all have, uh, you know, we all have our, our addictions, whether it be food or alcohol, you know, or different vices in our life. And uh, it, it is it is kind of, uh, you know, it's a struggle for so many people. And uh, and it's OK. We're, you know, one day at a time, you have a bad food day. You wake up the next day and have a good food day. Uh, you, uh, just keep working towards getting better and better. And, you know, uh, and, and that's what I certainly, uh, teach my patients. Uh, it's, it's hard to be perfect, but please understand the more perfect you are, the better your health is going to be. You know, when you, you talk about fighting the establishments, I was just thinking from a chiropractic standpoint, once I realized this and realized what I was into, it made sense that we were the underdog. We were, you know, getting attacked from every angle because that's what we've been trained to do from every TV show, you know, from Sesame Street on up. But here you were in that establishment and you go outside and you talk against it. You're getting your your own people are attacking you because you're sticking your neck out, which is unexpected you know in a way because you wouldn't think you know your colleagues would would be there here's a here's an interesting question 
Um, I was just thinking up the other day to ask this to, to our listeners. If your license was taken away from you, and let's say your wife, Heather, her license was taken away from her, mm-hmm. what would you do? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think, listen, I think, you know, that uh, the, the health and wellness industry, there's so many opportunities that are there. Uh, at the end of the day, maybe I'd learn how to become a farmer in Costa Rica. Uh, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I think um, and I think that's been a, a reality for me and under scrutiny. I mean, I, I get a friend who's a cardiologist up in Montreal and she's like, I love your book. I believe in everything that you say. But if I utter a word about supplements, if I utter a word about sending someone to a chiropractor, you know, or even do much in the lifestyle space, uh, I'm very fearful they will pull my license and they've done it before. So, you know, sometimes the grass is not greener somewhere else. Some, uh, this may be the best we have worldwide is in the United States and some of our freedoms here. But, uh, you know, and like to segue into another thing real quick, guys, and I think that it's a great, you know, to, to have these lectures in your office or in a hotel or in a local restaurant. And I have and one of my presentations that's included in this uh, is about how to have a successful wellness event, and that's a 20-minute presentation that I teach the doctors about how to create that event. Invite the medical doctors to it. If you're going to be speaking about hypertension, invite the medical doctor there, mm. and t- and teach them something. Number one, and then also let them know that you, as a doctor of chiropractic, are a referral source for those patients. You know, hey, let's all. You know, if we're really interested in making people better. Uh, then let's work together to make this happen. Uh, There will be, of course, uh, medical doctors that are always against this message because we're so brainwashed from our training and and all this stuff goes against their financial model. But there are some really good medical doctors out there that just want the best for their patients. They truly went into medicine for the right reasons. And if we can educate them and get that, if I could change, believe me, anybody can change, so if we can educate these doctors and say, hey, listen, you know, come to my event. Let me show you how chiropractic helps with blood pressure. Let me show you how chiropractic supports the heart failure patient, the, the diabetic, the GI, the whatever it is. Um, and that's how we can really make a big difference in our community. Do you, do you see that trend changing um, as the years go along that more medical doctors are open uh, it, it seems like there was such a, a, a stigma or something, you, you know, that it's a battle, us and them, us and them. And I know there are doctors out there that, just what you said, get into it because they want to help people. They really want to help people, but they're in a system that just doesn't provide that. And I think they get caught up in that. Do you think that trend is starting to change? You know, I hope so, Dr. Aaron. I hope so. You know, my wife was on stage at California Jam, which I encourage every chiropractor to go out to out in California with Billy DeMoss. And, um, uh, you know, was up on stage and she's like, you know, if you're looking to to, uh, change over a medical doctor, ladies, you got to sleep with them. (laughs) I think in lieu of Dr. Kyle and Dr. Aaron and everybody else out there looking to sleep with a medical doctor, um, Uh, uh, you know, I, I, you know, we got to educate, we got to continue to educate and that's how we're going to make a difference. And, you know, listen, I'd be a fool to say that every medical doctor's, uh, you know, ready to be, you know, converted to the health and wellness side. They're not, um, you know, once again, we've trained for so many years and when, Dr. Heather mentioned a lot of these things to me about the pills and the procedures. I mean, it's a tough, tough thing for the for the medical doctor to swallow. Kind of like, wait a second, you, uh, you know, you little chiropractor, you're telling me that uh, ten years of my uh, life and my and all my training is based on uh, a false paradigm, a false system, uh, you know, and we totally missed, uh, you know, the mark when it comes to health and wellness. I mean, most, you know. Cardiologists certainly aren't going to believe that, but all we can do is kind of keep trucking along and one by one, person by person, uh, you know, to become that go-to health authority in your community. Uh, I think that uh, those in-office lectures, uh, you know, and they will explode your practice. You know, once again, the patients want the information. Once they know that you're just, you're so much more than back and neck pain, 
uh, you know, to be able to make those changes. And I'm here to help anybody who who listens to you know this broadcast. You can email me at health at the doctorswolfson.com. You can shoot me a message on Facebook. However you want to get a hold of me, however I can help you assume that role is is how we're going to make a difference because you know we've all got skin in the game, right? I've got two young kids, 10 and 5, and my wife is 12 weeks pregnant. Oh, um, congratulations. The re- thank you, thank you. I mean, listen, the revolution is on, and we got to do it for the next generation because – uh, either this world's going to hell in a handbasket or, you know, we're going to make it uh, a, a, a healthy place for our children to live. That's awesome. Actually, I was thinking, I was like, all right, I'm going to ask him this question. I was going to ask you, you know, what did Dr. Heather say to you that got you? But you kind of already answered that for me. That's funny. Um, yeah. But- well, you know, and also I tell, I tell the story in my book. You know, my father was a cardiologist. He came down with a Parkinson's-like disease. It was a cruel, miserable death. So I saw what was happening with him, and the medical community had absolutely, positively nothing to do to help him, even at the Mayo Clinic out here in Arizona. And then meeting the, you know, my soulmate, the love of my life, Dr. Heather, and for her to uh, put it all in perspective as to what happened to my father, poor nutrition and environmental toxins and pollutants. um, Wow, it just, it just clicked. It Mm -hmm. just clicked. Uh, for some of the medical doctors, it will click because these people, I mean, you know who they are and they come into your practice. So many, so many MDs are seeing chiropractors for back and neck pain. But when it comes to all things health and wellness, we got to get that message out there. And, um, yeah. I mean, listen, you know, uh, they're going to be afraid. They're going to be afraid because they're going to lose patients to you. Um, uh, so please understand that they, they will be coming from a position of fear right. that they will be losing patients and nobody wants to lose patients. I mean, this, uh, uh, it's a business, uh, at the end of the day as well. Yep. Right. That's for sure. What would you, if you were a chiropractor speaking to a medical doctor about, you know, chiropractic, how would you, how do you think would be the best way to word how you explain chiropractic? Would it be to keep it super simple Or would you get into all the neurology and physiology with them to kind of relate to the the verbiage that they already use? Well, you know, listen, um, uh, you know, Dr. Aaron, it's um, it's it's difficult sometimes in a one on one conversation when people right from the get go are a little adversarial. So, uh, you know, sometimes it is best to bring them into that lecture or to write, you know, a three page PDF, or even, you know, the chapter in my book, chapter 14, is called The Wonders of Chiropractic. It's not some long, you know, treatise about uh, about uh, chiropractic and, and chiropractic neurology. Uh, it's eight pages long, and it's got some science in there. It's got some of my case stories. It's got my personal experiences, you know, and, and that could be a good resource uh, as well. Uh, you know, but sometimes like the sit down conversation, man, there's just so many barriers that are up. But I will say this, you know, you guys are, are skilled at, you know, that elevator conversation, you know, with with, a, you know, how would you would pose that to a medical doctor? Uh, you know, but certainly you can say, listen, you know, there's, um, you know, there is a cardiologist out there in the world who all of his patients are under chiropractic care. So he's, he's on to something. Maybe you should uh, look into that as well. Right. That's a good. I like that line. That would get them to get a little squint and think, what the heck does that mean? <laughs> OK, yep. well, yep. well you ahead. know, I mean, even even in the vaccine space, if you're trying to you know, educate you know, people about natural immunity, uh, there's there's so many barriers that go up immediately when you broach that topic that it's very difficult to have a one on one conversation as opposed to if you're like, hey, watch this video, watch this webinar. Right. Come to my lecture, you know, and just sit back in the crowd and just kind of soak in what I have to say. And if at the end you've got questions, let's talk. If at the end you still turn away, that's okay. That's okay. Um, you know, but uh, – and, and that's all we can do is ask people to to take a listen. But, you know, once again, I've just been involved in so many embroiled, you know, one-on-one conversations uh, sometimes it's, there, there's just too many barriers when you're talking to someone one-on-one. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> we want to respect your time. And as we kind of wrap this together, I mean, this is, 
This I could listen to you all day. I mean, you're a great speaker. You have a lot of passion behind what you do. Um, and when you when you talk to somebody that's on purpose, it it's a it's fun. I mean, we don't have to come up with questions. All you do is just let the let the let it pour out of your heart. Uh, and I, I will say this, when I did contact you, so listeners, if you're looking to get in touch with, with Dr. Jack, just send him a note, do a Facebook, you know, email him. I know when I sent, you you had sent me your book, you gave me a free copy of the book at the time, you had a special going on, um, and we interchanged books, I sent you my book. You didn't hesitate to, to eat, you know, message me. When I messaged you about the podcast, you immediately, you know, responded back. And we see this from from high-end docs who are looking to serve. You know, your plate is probably as full as it can be, and now you're going to have three kids. So I have five, Dr. Jack, and I have a grandson. I have a farm, and we coach. I'm like, oh, my goodness, I'm busy. But once you get to three, having four or five doesn't make a difference. You just add them in. <laughs> yeah, right, it's fun, right, you know? right. No, I, I hear it. And listen, you know, the world needs more healthy children. The world needs... Uh, people like us reproducing and bringing those healthy Cairo kids uh, into the world. You know, my wife and, and her busy, you know, busy, uh, pe- you know, pediatric practice. It's so exciting, so rewarding, you know, to, you know, see a child who's been on multiple rounds of antibiotics for ear infections and for my wife to adjust them and like immediately they're better and they never have a problem again once they follow the plan and continue with chiropractic care. It's really, really invigorating. And uh, I am extremely passionate about it. I want to be healthy for my children. I don't want to end up like my dad. I don't want my patients to wind up in that kind of predicament. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's very motivational, you know, to do it. And I love speaking to the chiropractors. I, my wife has said that the chiropractors would be my best friends on the journey. And it's totally true. Uh, I lost all my MD and DO buddies <laughs> and now it's all, you know, about the, the doctors of chiropractic. And I speak at so many state associations and conferences and, um, you know, we'll be coming up at the, uh, Tennessee chiropractic association in, August and the Florida Chiropractic Association and I'll be in Virginia and I'll be in Kansas and I'll be in Washington and I'm doing other events. We're doing the Truth About Cancer Part 2 down in Orlando and, uh, you know, I spoke at Paleo FX and uh, I'm speaking at different nutritional conferences and heck, you know, we were up in uh, Toronto at the International Society of Orthomolecular Medicine and there were 200 MDs in the audience that all heard the message that I'm giving to you all today and that you all speak of uh, and you know why all their patients need to be under chiropractic care so any way I can help any of your listeners I'm I'm here uh, I'm here for support guys awesome we really appreciate that we appreciate you being on the show Uh, before we wrap this up one more time where can our listeners find more resources and information about you and all these different things that you have going on well you know uh, together we are the doctors Wolfson and doctors is abbreviated DRS and that is our website the doctors we are also on social media at, you know at the doctors Wolfson um, you know, uh, once again, the chiropractors, they can uh, buy my books, they can buy them at wholesale, give them out in care plans, treatment plans, sell them is my preference. I uh, have a you know, community event uh, and uh, uh, you know, charge for it and include my book in the fee, whatever you want to do. I mean, listen, it's all about getting the message out there. Uh, we've got some great products on our, on our shop page and so many chiropractors are, are wholesaling our products and we appreciate their support on that. There's some great companies out there, you know, the Standard Process of the World and all these other companies that have done very well by chiropractic, and uh, uh, I I think that, um, you know, know, there's a lot of different supplements companies out there, and we, once again, appreciate the support of, of, you know, your listeners and your community to help us get our message out there. Absolutely, and, you know, when we support each other this way, it goes back into revolving around teaching the message. So the more you can make, the more we can make as a collective chiropractic organization, health organization, the more we can get our message out. So, you know, look to Dr. Jack's information, get on his website, check these resources out. And the book, when I read your book, it was, it was a very easy read, but it was very detailed and very clear on how to understand the from the heart end of it so you know if you're looking for some resources just get your hands on start reading start digging into it and then what we always do is i don't i'm not an expert in all this stuff we just add it in 
We just add it in. We give them resources like the book. We show them where to go, how to go, and patients just start taking that journey with you. So Dr. Wolfson, Dr. Jack, we love having you on today. Uh, thank you so much um, for being here and for serving, serving not only our podcast listeners, but serving this planet and serving chiropractors as well. Yep. Any, any last minute advice for chiropractors out there? Oof. Uh, well, listen, listen to this, guys. Um, talk the talk and walk the walk. We all know fat, overweight cardiologists, and we know fat, overweight chiropractors. Yep. If you're going to change the world and you're going to teach the community, you got to talk the talk, walk the walk. And the more we represent, uh, the more people are going to flock to us. I mean, I get patients that come to see me. They're like, yeah, I just saw how you looked physically. And I'm like, I want that guy as my doctor. Uh, and, and that's what we got to do. And uh, we can't, uh, we can't, uh, you know, we, we got to shout from the rooftops our message that we can't be afraid. We have to shout it. We have to scream it. We have to take risks. So talk the talk. It, definitely talk it and talk it and talk it and then walk it as well. And that's how we're going to make a difference, guys. Beautiful. I love it. I tell that I say that all the time. You know, you gotta you gotta be the guy. You gotta live live that life. So all right guys, until next time. Hey, this is Dr. Tressler. And this is Dr. Muir, and we are the Chiropractic Authority. For more information about the Chiropractic Authority, run on over to thechiropracticauthority.com where you can start training today on our free videos, free training material, webinars, PowerPoints, our innate life systems, coaching, and much, much more. This information will blow you away. So thanks for listening, and until next time, this is Aaron. And this is Kyle. We, we are, are the Chiropractic, Chiropractic Authority. Authority.